Welcome back ladies. This is Judy of Just Judy Crafting and I want to share with you today a little file folder, altered file folder that I made from the Ooh La La Vintage Treasures Angel's Whisper Kit. And this was a part of a kit club I belong to from, a, from Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. And it started out with a file folder that was made by Jennifer of A Trace of Sparkle here on YouTube. If you haven't seen her, you must go and see some of her stuff. And it started out with a file folder that was like this, that she got inspiration from Lori Girl on the Ridge and then made it smaller. So it just has flaps that open on the front part of the file folder. You open up inside and both sides, whoops, sorry, both sides open up with a little pocket that goes down it. And in the back, it has one flap like that. But it was real it's really cute. I've made a few of the full size ones, which I will share with you later in the week. But I started out with the front cover of the uh, kit, which included an angel angel wings with roses. Of course, pink, we love that. I started layering with a piece of shiplap, pink shiplap in the front. Of course, it has to be pink, pink in the back and then included the main piece, Angel's Whisper, right in front. Also on there, I included Lori Girl on the Ridge loves to have her dangly little lace. So I thought I'll try it on this one. I haven't tried it on the others, but I thought I'd try it on this one. I included a piece of digital. I'm not sure who that's from, but I think it's Shabby Dabby Doodah as the background. And it included a paper clip that Doreen included in the kit. It has a piece of rose paper it's punched out in a circle and layered pieces of doilies all the way up and uh, Doreen is just famous on uh, layering a bunch of pieces of scraps together little scrap laces 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 and she stapled it together and included a paper clip on the back so you could move it around to all your many projects but Doreen is is really great she's really creative when she makes her layering she takes scraps of things that are on her table makes it Turns out like a million bucks. Look at that, isn't it a million bucks? And I, of course, had it included on the front of my folder because I wanted inspiration from Doreen. And it opens up like this, the two little flaps, and I included on this one some more of that shiplap that I have in a digital. I believe that's my porch prints. I included a little of that other paper and um, put it on some cardstock like that. And oops, sorry about that. And a little bit of a lace. I made a belly band of some lace I had in there. Now this was included in the kit. I started out with a little chippy paint in the back that I got in that same kit with, with the shiplap. And this was a little folder that was in the envelopes in the kit that, she, that Doreen had made up. And I thought since she had it made up, let's include it. So she had a little bit of pink gauze ruffled along the edge here and she made it into a little folder. In the front she has their pocket with a couple little stamp like um, little um, rose little public library you know that you sign out your little books on. This was this whole piece was made with music paper that was torn out of a little uh, a little um, booklet. I added a little piece of the chippy ship lap, some of those little words and the word per, um, precious on there. Also on here, she had a little netting here with a couple more little stamps and I thought, it's not broken, don't fix it. Same thing here, she used some of that library or definition paper or dictionary paper with some stamps. So I just took it off of that, put it on here and it it added really nice. And on here, I made some of those little things, Lori Girl on the Ridge. She takes a long strip of paper, folds it up, makes it an envelope, glues it shut, puts a little bling on it. This was also included in the kit, a little um, angel's wing, little stamp, and I had to include that in there to make that a little finalized. And on here, the next one on here, had the two flaps here. This one, I just took a little piece of paper I found in my scraps that had some little pink, included that on there, put a little applique 
and included a little tag. I ordered these from Jennifer, a trace of sparkle. If you guys don't know her here on YouTube, you need to follow her. She has some lovely kits and she does these coffee dyeing kits with a little bit of um, doily accent on there. And so I bought that and it fit perfect in here. Now on this side here, I used this little, it's like a fabric that's stiff, kind of, I, I don't know what it's like, but I, I found it in my stash when I've been cleaning this week, reorganizing my room, and it's a little piece of stiff, I don't know, I don't know what it, I want to call it. It feels like stiffening in for a collar, but it was a little piece of rose that a friend had given me, and I thought, well, I'll make a little tuck spot with that. So I just added a little tuck spot with a little piece of Prima paper that I made a little tiny tag to add in that tuck spot. And then it opens up like this. On this side, I put a couple little stamps I got in the in the Happy Mail. Put those on there with a little card. That's some of those little cards you get in um, Project Life. And so I just stuck it in there. I thought it looked good. Now on the little pocket, in the, in the file folder, it came a little pocket here. I put some more of that shiplap paper and a little piece of lace and a little rose decal that I just layered up. I'm trying to do Doreen's little adding and you know, Doreen is the queen of that. She can do many layers. With my OCD, I did three. <laughs> so then um, I included in the back here, I tucked in, got some of that, more of that little dictionary paper and a little tag that was included in one of the kits with the um, shiplap and the rubber stamp on there, made a little tag that tucked in there. On this side here is a glassine bag that I just put a little vellum rose on there, a little piece of um, avocado dyed uh, lace that my friend Rita and I made this last week and we'd coffee dyed and avocado dyed everything we got our hands on. It was an all day experience. Now here I found an old piece of paper from my father's um, stuff when he had passed away several years ago on uh, it was just old and already shabbified you didn't have to coffee dye it and I had a rubber stamp that I got from a friend and I just put dream on just as simple as that just a little thing I need to find a little something something to put inside but that was really cute now on this side here I just had a little rose on one of a little prima paper so I just tore it out and laid it on here same with this is from the same end of this piece here. Found a little chipboard from a Prima chipboard kit. Put a little dreamer on here. Also now this is from one of Doreen's little kits too and it's just a little paper clip that I included on here. It has a little sparkle, little pearl, little piece of tool right there and I just added that on here so it just laid kind of to keep that closed. Open this up. Now in here I belong to a a kit club, a monthly digital kit club called Shabby Boutique. And this was one of the months from spring. So I think it was, oh, with this COVID, I just don't know what month. It's probably June's month, but I had to include it because pink, flowers, nature, spring. And this is my spring folder. Put a little doily back there to accent that to bring it out. Now in the center one, I, of course, added some more of this, um, newspaper I think it's supposed to be with that they've layered other little flowers on that to do my little pocket. This is a tag that was included in one of the kits. I don't believe it was this kit but one that Doreen had made. It's a really little cute little coffee dyed with little um, cotton like eyelet material with those little roses we get from Hobby Lobby I believe. Now on this side here is um, I'm trying to do a little faux you know, a Doreen, layer things up. This is a piece of Prima paper, a little coffee dyed doily that we've done. And this is a little ticket that my friend Rita's boyfriend had been cutting out on a laser machine. He cut us out rows and rows of every piece of paper that she had in the room. And trust me, she has a lot. <laughs> and I put a little late, little strip of lace, a la Doreen, with a little, um, music paper, a little ship flap paper, and a little muslin that I rubber stamped a little roses on top. Many, long time ago, but I ran across it. So that's that center little thing there. And on the back, then you turn it around again like this. Then again, I used a lot of things on this from the Angel's Whisper. I used this little dangly that Doreen included in the kit. 
It's so lovely. Little angel wing here with a pearl and a spacer here. Little piece of lace here. Look like it's coffee dyed. Little white lace. Little pink with a little bit of sequence on there. She put it on a bold pin. Million bucks, just like Doreen, million bucks. Now on here, underneath here, this was something that was included in the kit. It was glued on the front of an envelope, which included a lot of goodies. And I said, this is too beautiful to leave it. Maybe someone will think I made something this lovely, but I included it on here. If you can see, there's several layers of uh, laces on here. There is some music paper on here. This is a cupcake. It looks like a gingham or pink little doodad stripe. I think it's gingham cupcake that she's glued on here. Little piece of wallpaper, I believe, or an embossed paper, little rose, little snippet stuff she found sitting on her stuff. In here, these little tiny sequins on here on a little lace, little strip of sequins here. I don't know if you can see this little tiny piece of bling right here that she included. See, there's Doreen layering things up making them look like a million bucks. Doreen, you're a million buck creator, right there. Opened it up, I put a little bit of that um, newspaper print with the little rosy things, little applique, just a little accent. Now here's another thing Doreen has made. It's a little paper clip. Again, she used a piece of designer paper, a little piece of music paper. Little piece of lace she sounds sitting around, another piece of lace, a little image here. Put a little paper clip with a little bit of um, tool on the top, made a bow, bam, million bucks. That Doreen, she knows how to make a million bucks. So that is my project today. I hope you enjoyed the, um, the angel kit just as much as I did. It was, it's really, really beautiful. And um, I'm gonna give you a little break, a little announcement. Doreen has asked me to be a guest designer for the next three months for her uh, Ooh La La Vintage Treasures kits. And I've accepted, I'm looking forward to it. The first one is gonna be cocoa and coffee. Looking forward to that, love both cocoa plus coffee, plus vintage, plus browns, love all that. So I'll be looking forward to that. The kit should be coming pretty soon and I have a few ideas I'm going to use. Now, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to join me. I plan on doing a lot more now that I've redone my little studio here. It's a little bit easier to, um, to film and so I hope you hit that subscribe button hit the little bell notification so you could get an update when my next video comes hopefully it'll be following this one not today but next day or two um, if you're not a Facebook member of a traces I mean I'm sorry of ooh la la vintage treasures I'd rush right on over there the girls there are lovely they do a lot of lovely things and they really inspire me to do to be a better me, to be a better creator. And so go over there and see what the girls are, are up to. Also, Jennifer, she's a designer for the for the club. Trace Sparkle here on YouTube. She does a lot of lovely things and she inspired, you know, she made and created these little kits, which I absolutely adore. So ladies, get out there, keep crafting, have some fun, and come back and see me again real soon. Thank you.